from the heart of El Monte City Hall West, it's El Monte Tonight with your host, Arturo Esparza, and special co-host, Nari Ne. And tonight's special guest, Mike Magic Boyd, singer-songwriter. We also have, from Enrique Tamales, Enrique Munoz, as well as the owner of The Rollin, Bax Baca. And tonight's guest band is Jenny Luna and the Moondogs. And I'm yours truly, Jamie Neary. Go ahead, Jenny and the Mood Dogs, take us away. As restless as a willow in a windstorm, I must jump it as a puppet down the stream. I'd say that I had spring fever, but I call it things in spring. Well, I'm a starry eyed and vaguely discontented, like a night and death without a song to sing. Oh, why should I have spring fever when I think something in spring? Why I keep wishing I were somewhere? Walking down a strange new street Hearing what I thought I have never heard From a man I've yet to meet Well, I'm as busy as a spider spinning daydream I'm as guilty as a baby on a swing Why well, haven't seen a crocus or a robot Or a banana I just get, I just age. So, Arturo Esparza here. Yes, I'm I tonight on our new, I guess, improved set, if you want to call it. And uh, I'm so grateful to have all these people. I want to thank Al Ramirez for all his uh, contributions and his help here. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to continue with the same kind of great lighting, which we love here, even though we're roasting folks. Real quick announcement, then we'll get on with our first guest, and then we'll get back to Jenny, because I know she has a whole, she told me a whole plethora of songs. I'm going to try to get them all in. Okay, real quickly, today we had the Americanism Parade, which uh, we had uh, Valerie and Alice went out there and covered that event, so we'll be running that later on in the week. Just want to let you know that on March 2nd, we have the Inspire, a young woman's leadership day open to 7th through 12th grade girls attending Mountain View School District, Almonte City School District, and Almonte Union High School School District. 
And that will be at the Grace Black Auditorium, 3130 Tyler Avenue in beautiful Almonte, California. The price. Okay, check this price. Two cans of canned goods. Okay. And you might want to bring a, a can opener too, just in case. Okay, on um, also on the on the second at ten AM we have the Philly softball opening day at Norwood School four five two zero North Whistler in Almani. Our good buddy Louis Mendez, who's gonna be doing and we have such a great you know, th- plan here. He's going to be doing a sports show for all of Almani, and that's going to be coming on up. He'll be down there doing what we call in the parlay of the business a bumper. So uh, if you get a chance, if you're out there supporting the Phillies, be looking for Louie. He's a good guy, great sports buff, and uh, go up there and just buff his head. Okay, finally, uh, let's see, we have on March 7th, the Almani South Almani Chamber of Commerce first Wednesday networking breakfast at Patio Restaurant at 11672 Ramona Boulevard. El Monte, California. We went to the last mixer and we took, uh, Valerie and I took Chef Kiki and she had a fantastic job. They loved their flan. Fortunately, she was going to be here today, but she got so many orders after she met these people. She's she's in a kitchen right now, even as we speak. And I want to say hi to you. Hi, Chef Kiki. You're out there. We love you. Uh, Arbor Day celebration, March 8th at 10 a.m. So you want that, March 14th, 5.30, the Wayne Clayton Foundation Annual Dinner, Grace Black Auditorium, 3130, Tyler Avenue. Okay, and that's some of our announcements here in beautiful uh, Monte, California. Now we're going to start with our first guest. And we get a three shot because we, we're a camera person. Show. There you go. See how great we are? We're so good here, we don't even know. I have my special guest hostess, Narine. Say hi, Narine. Hi. See, she's gorgeous. Do not try to adjust your uh, TV set. That's, she actually looks that, like that. Now, when you see Mike Boyd, you might want to adjust. Okay? <laughs> Now, how you doing, Mike? How you doing? It's been good seeing you, brother, man. All right, man. We got Magic Mike Boyd coming on here on the show. Um, So what's up, Mike? Tell us the lowdown, man. What's the latest? Um, uh, Well, the latest on one first, I'd like to say hello to everybody in El Monte and, you know, uh, surrounding places, everything. How are you? Good. Um, um, A lot of people don't know me, but I do quite a few things. And so a couple of things I'd like to talk about today. One is... Uh, uh, you would see the t-shirt that I have on and the hat is a new baseball game uh, called Standstill Baseball that I've put together. And uh, You're going to have to explain that because, you know, when somebody, somebody says stand still, you're thinking they're not going to move. Well, you know, I'm getting that a lot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll have to take that, uh, you know, on my dad. My dad, uh, uh, I said, I, I went to my dad in the beginning of this when I come up with the game. And I said, Dad, look, I, um, I've got this new game in mind. And I'm going to call it blah, blah, blah. And he said, well, you know, Mike, that sounds like standstill. Okay. I'm going, standstill? And he said, yeah, we played a game similar to that when I was a child. Oh. And what it is, is it's a one-hour baseball game uh, that six men play six men. And for the ladies out there, six ladies play six ladies. Can, can not even play? Yes, they, everybody can play this yeah. game. Did you want to play? Yeah. yeah. I want to. <laughs> it's so uh, it's so simple a game, and that's what it's designed for, to, that everybody can play. The game is meant to encompass everybody rather than leave people out. So we can call it inclusion rather than exclusion. And if we look at the fact that so many of our children and uh, are not on the ball fields and not doing a lot of things positive, because uh, one, the game of nine-man baseball, after a while, grows too big for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. And so they have to find something else to do that they never really planned on doing, you know. And so it leaves them out of sync. So I put together a standstill baseball so that everybody could have a chance at playing it and uh, at playing the game of baseball. And so in this instance, uh, it's six men playing six men, like I said. You play half the field. It's similar to a game called Over the Line. And with it, over the line is an underhand softball game where you mm-hmm. pitch to your own man with three men. You play half the field. Well, standstill baseball is six men playing six men. And you have a left fielder, center fielder, shortstop, second, uh, shortstop, uh, third baseman, pitcher, catcher. The fastest pitch in standstill is 70 miles an hour. It has to be delivered in a baseball format. And that concept, you got one strike, you out, two balls, you walk. Two foul tips, you're out. If the catcher catches the first one, you're out. Uh, And so there are other rules in it, but just to make it short, a single is a... Too late, too late. Too late? Yes. Well, in the name of Elvis, thank you you very much. Um, In the process, in this, the ball players, um, a a single is a ball that's bobbled in the infield or cleanly goes through. 
a double is a ball that's uh, bobbled by the outfielder or touches the outfield fence. Mm -hmm. A triple is off of the fence completely. Please take notes at home. Okay? Yeah, we'll do have this. A quiz at the end of the week. And, and let people know too, they can go to standstillbaseball.com, like standing still, standstillbaseball.com, and you can find out a tremendous amount of information that's going on with the game. Um, this is, we, we played it last season for the first time of a full season, and it caught on so well uh, that it was really incredible. I remember we covered that for, yeah. for you last yeah. year, yeah. Right, matter of yeah. fact, we had the Boys and Girls Club of East L.A. out there, and the, mm -hmm. they had an absolute ball, but they didn't have as much fun as I did working with them. Um, and they, the kids fell in love with you know, it. you got to learn to, you know, could be so shy and talk a little bit more about yourself. Okay, okay, I'm gonna do that. Now, <laughs> see, it started. It was a Tuesday. It was a Tuesday. <laughs> it was a Tuesday. Uh, but uh, to get this information out to everybody, and uh, and this is what I teach, uh, you know, all kids and and everybody that I know, uh, and the philosophies that I teach, I do quite a few things under the concept of uh, one of the philosophies that I teach and come up with. It's called "I wonder why it is that man tries to make us one thing." Mm -hmm when it is that God has made us so many things. And so my parents taught me come up to, to do some of everything because you never know what life may call for you to do. So the kids to be prepared as much as you can for life. And so, but to you, back to the ball game. Here he goes again. <laughs> Not even ask him yeah. a question yeah. because he'll keep looking at Back me. to the ball game. Uh, Mr. Mike, mm -hmm. uh, we're glad to see you today in our show. Mm -hmm. And um, can you tell us a couple of words from your background. No, no a couple of words with him. A couple of things like, from background? Uh, let's see. A couple of things. A couple of things. Okay. Uh, one is uh, I'm a number two draft pick of the LA Dodgers as a uh, center fielder shortstop. Uh, the same thing for the Oakland A's. Uh, I was a number seven pick of the Oakland A's. I uh, was also a Golden Glove uh, boxer and, and Mississippi light heavyweight and that. Um, I came up playing a lot of baseball. I don't know what I'll say because I, I do so many things, but I come up playing baseball. I was the number one high school pitcher in the South for two years. Um, I had nearly 300 scholarship offers to play baseball, uh, to go to different colleges. Um, Welcome to the Mike Boyd Show, folks. Well, you asked me. <laughs> no, I'm not going to ask. <laughs> I'm just answering. You know, we got, a, we got a, a baseball coach in the house just walked in right now. Well, yeah, we do. There's a... Ms. Vicky Martinez. Oh, I thought there was someone that struck out. No. No, okay. Besides baseball, what else you like to do? What's, uh, what's your favorite thing? Whoa, favorite. He was doing it. He was talking about himself. Yeah, yeah. besides baseball. I was not talking about me. I know, he's multi-type. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but no, my, I, I imagine my favorite thing, there are two things, it's baseball and it's music. I can never get rid of baseball because I... I grew up, it's just my life. Right. But I grew up, uh, you know, we sang in the churches and we sang growing up uh, all over the place. Um, and so now I'm a recording artist um, and do a couple of things with that. One is uh, my number one single is called American Soldier, Thank You for All the Things You Do. Um, I work with an organization called the Vet Hunters. And, yeah, and we're help, well aware of them. Uh, the, them helping veterans uh, get off the street to get their uh, just rewards and, and the uh, things that they need and deserve. Um, I don't know if a lot of people really know uh, how bad things are with a lot of the soldiers that are suffering from PTSD uh, as well as physical injuries that we wouldn't even want to think about. Right. right. Uh, and so while I have an opportunity on the air, I'd like to say to everybody to, to just take a look and take out a little time and see how bad a lot of things are going for a lot of people that fought to make it so good for us. What makes you to get involved in that kind of project? Um, I suppose growing up where I grew up, which was in Mississippi, uh, there wasn't a lot of fair play at the time when I was growing up. Uh, not to go into some things about the South and things like that, but um, it was a little rough growing up down there. And with the fact that uh, there were so many people trying to take your chances away from you and not allow you to have your chances, that I made a promise when I was a child that once I grew up and stuff, I would do better than those people did toward me. And so instead of them trying to stop one child, I'm gonna grow up and I'm gonna help all that I possibly can. See, this is what a wonderful, give them a round of applause, please. 
you know, not to segue away from that, but we have that nice clip. Oh, we were very blessed to see uh, uh, Magic Mike doing his uh, Sam Cooke impersonation or impression, if you will, over at uh, a fundraiser for the Boys and Girls Club. And do we have that clip ready in the out-of-control room, Diego? I really hope so. <laughs> That's what I love. I have such confidence with people. You know, we good? Yes. Okay, let's take it away. This is Magic Mike Boyd. Let me tell you, that was Mike Boyd. He'll be right <coughs> back. You know, it's like a commercial break. But see, when my boss walks through the door, Hardly. she bumps everybody. See, and now she's coughing. She give her a bottle of water. This is uh, the right honorable <coughs> choking council member, Victoria Martinez. Can we get her a bottle of water, please? <coughs> Hi, Hi Art. Are you okay, Vicky? I'm really good, thank you. I unfortunately have a little tickle in my throat, but other than that, I'm great. I'm happy to be here. I'm glad to have you. I'm glad you were able to make it. We thank were scared. You. Thank you so much for just taking a few minutes out of your day, out of your show, to talk a little bit about a big event that we've got coming up this Saturday. Okay, and what's that about? You can pass that bottle on down. It's good if you have it. Down yes, below. please. I'll take a little. There you go. I, uh, I, I feel like Marco Rubio during the course of his uh, State of the Union rebuttal. Excuse me. 
She's so political. Don't you love that? <laughs> She's a political reference. Oh, there we go. There. Okay. Okay. So, so our, we've what's got this all about? Because, you know, we're supposed to cover this. Mm-hmm. And, you know, uh, give us a rundown. What we've got going on this weekend is an opportunity for young ladies to come to what's called Inspire, a Young Women's Leadership Day. What it is, it's an um, all-day conference that is for girls from 7th grade to 12th grade. Starts at 8 o'clock. That's when our registration begins. By 9, 8.45, we all should be settled and getting started for our panelists. And uh, after we've got our panelists, we go into some breakout sessions for our girls. And during the course of the breakout sessions, we're going to talk about things like health and wellness, uh, their image in social media, as well as some um, basically etiquette, confidence, and leadership training for our young ladies here in the city of Almani. Which is a lot of um, today um, girls need that help and um, about health, about the leadership because they're not confident. Sometimes it comes from their background and I'm glad that you have this kind of project for the young girls. Thank you so much. Let me share with you briefly just how this started. It was um, over the past couple of years I go to a lot of leadership conferences for myself so that I can grow and improve and develop on who I am as a person and who I am as a leader. And in a lot of these instances, there are opportunities for high schoolers to come and experience these things. Well, the thing is, is that I would always look for girls from El Monte, and I never saw anybody there. So I started asking some questions. Why aren't our girls participating in these conferences? Um, and it could be for a lot of different reasons, financial, transportation. At the end of the day, it was something so simple as saying, you know, instead of our girls needing to go to downtown Los Angeles or Pasadena, why don't we bring a conference to them here in Almani? So I reached out to some of our community partners who have come on board with this art. We've got everybody from the El Monte, South El Monte <coughs> Chamber of Commerce. They will be sponsoring our continental breakfast that we'll have available for all of our girls. El Pollo Loco is going to be sponsoring our lunch. The El Monte City School District, Mountain View School District, El Monte Union High School District, Rio Hondo College, California Center for Public Health Advocacy, the Girl Scouts of Greater Los Angeles, Altamed, Pacific Health Cares, uh, Pacific Health Clinics rather, have all jumped on board wanting to be a part of this organization. And that's just the beginning. That's just the beginning of the organizations that wanted to see a conference for young women happen right here in the city of Almani. Vicki, try to be more enthusiastic. <laughs> <laughs> for those of you who know, you know that I started off as a softball coach, um, coaching what, girls. What team was that? 12 and under. Well, over at the Almani Phillies. Oh, okay. The league has been around for a little bit over 40 years now. and. For me, the, uh, watching our young girls grow and develop has become such an important aspect of who I am that I thought, let's bring it to a different level now, not only coaching on the softball field, but coaching in real life. Real life skills such as being able to shake a hand. That's something that our girls are going to learn this Saturday, being able to um, walk across the room confidently with their shoulders back, heads held high. And some of these things are just not taught anymore. So those will be a couple of the things that uh, we'll be going over. In regards to our panelists, I have to tell you, one of the things that we looked at when we were inviting our panelists to come and join us was we wanted women who have grown up within Almani or South Almani who are leaders in their own right. And who we found to speak is going to be Captain Michelle States, our female captain here with the Almani Police Department. She grew up right here in Almani and now continues to serve here in Almani. We also have Angelica Garcia Delgado, who is a counselor over at South Almani High School. She also happens to serve on the South Almani City Council. And then finally, we also have uh, Verna de los Reyes, who is not only 
uh, a career woman. She's also a mom and a Girl Scout troop leader. So we want our young women to know that being a mom is being successful. It's already leadership. <laughs> There's all these things that they can look up to. And at the end of the day, when these young ladies are looking at our panelists, we want them to be able to say, if she grew up here in Almani, and she has grown and has become this, then I want them to say, if she can do it, I can, I can do, do it. it. Of course. At the end of the day, that's what we want them to be Let's able to feel that confidence. A oh. Thank you. She does so many things. She did our resource fair last year to uh, bring for low-income people in the community necessary books, supplies, and whatever f to go to school. And she never stops getting herself involved. And you know what? I don't know about you, Vicky, but there's a place for her somewhere <laughs> up in heaven, I think. How long oh, have you been doing thank this? Thank you very much. How long have you been doing this project since when? And what it makes you to do this? Inspire, this is its first year in its form, this, this uh, type of panel mm -hmm. and then breakout sessions. This is its first year. So um, again, going back to coaching as a softball coach, I saw that our young girls uh, we're growing up and quite honestly some of the things um, that started to become an issue for me when they grew up was not having the confidence that they need to shake a hand properly to look somebody in the eye to um, to take a picture of themselves and post it on Facebook Twitter Instagram we want to have a conversation with our young girls about that, about how this can be an everlasting um, conversation. And they really need to consider what they're posting on Facebook, Twitter. They also need to consider what they're putting in their bodies. We want healthy, young, intelligent women to grow up within this community. And healthy meaning food and nutrition, exercise. Healthy is, is a whole bunch of things. It's wellness all around, not just um, mental, physical, spiritual. It's all of those combined. That's nice, like a whole so, hug. She's <laughs> so wonderful. And I know you're in a hurry, and I'm really glad that you were able to come on in and talk about this, Vicki. So Thank you so much. Welcome to the much. Victoria Martinez Show. Oh, <laughs> you know what? The Victoria Martinez and the Mike Boyd Show. <laughs> there you go. Mike Boyd's a good guy. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, Vicky. you know what? Uh, it's going to be a, uh, an honor for us to have somebody come down there and film some of that. Oh, so we can put it up on we the would air. appreciate it. Because, you know, we are now going up on YouTube. So we're all uh, going worldwide now. Very good. So we want to show everybody how Almani rolls around here. The rest of the San Gabriel Valley the uh, Los Angeles County, the state of California, the United States gets to see the good things that we're doing right here in the city of Almani. And, and there's a lot. And hopefully if somebody wants to volunteer and help you out to you to grow this project, you're welcome, let, let her know. Yes. Okay. Well, let me just give you the last minute details okay. real quickly. Like I said, this is happening Saturday morning. Uh, girls arrive at 8 o'clock, volunteers arrive at 7. So if there's any volunteers that would like to come out, volunteers at 7, girls arrive at 8. We've got uh, a lot of our local legislators and previous legislators coming to join us at the beginning. Uh, for those of you who don't know and may not be able to show up, we've also got an all-girl color guard as a little bit of a surprise. So I'm just giving you a little insight. Um, it goes until n 2 o'clock, and at noon, like I said, we're going to be providing lunch for our girls, and we've got a keynote speaker. We're very blessed and honored to have our newly appointed superintendent, Dr. Maribel Garcia. From the here, city schools? From the Almani City School District to speak to our young girls. She is a product of this community. She grew up uh, right here went to our public schools and is now serving our public schools at its highest level so she'll be a wonderful example to our girls and really an example of what's possible fantastic and I see here the price is two cans of canned goods yes I'm really glad that you mentioned that art I don't a have lot any of cans, times, Vicky, I right. know. You know what? Here's the thing. There's a 99 cent store. There's a Smart and Final. She's there's on top Northgate of it, folks. Market. I can't get by her. Shop Almani is alive and well. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, we didn't want to do an event that was not valued. Um, and a lot of times, when people go to a free event, they find no necessary value in it. Instead, we thought, in order to get, you have to give. 
So they are giving two cans of food that will be donated to Emergency Resources Association. And Emergency Resources Association helps so many people within our own community that they're actually giving back to their community in a larger way simply by bringing in two counties.